Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we are working on perfecting the v-neck. I love sewing up a v-neck but I know that sometimes neck bands can be a little bit scary and then you think how do you even sew a V neck band on? Well, it's actually super easy to do and I'm gonna show you and give you some tips and some tricks on how I get the perfect V neck. <laughs> All right, cutting out the v-neck neckband. That's the first step. So actually what I like to do is instead of cutting it into a V already, once I'm going, I'm cutting my fabric, I like to cut straight and then sew it into a V and then trim it. So that's what I'm going to do. Even though my pattern has it come in, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go straight. Um, that's just, I think like a little tip um, that makes it easier for me to sew up the v-neck. Because what happens is if I cut it like this, when I go to sew it next to it, it's there's less space and it wants to tuck in and annoy me. So when I do it as straight, I can come in and out and the fabric doesn't try to roll in. So that's just a little tip that I found that I've, I have blah, 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 blah. I have found very helpful when sewing V-necks. All right, let's prep this V-neck. One of the first things I like to do with my neck bands is to fold them. Um, wrong sides together like so and create a crease here so that when I go to attach it it's much easier so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little steam here once it has been steamed we're gonna go ahead and grab it and place it right sides together at this short raw edge and then we're going to be sewing this V right here kind of like it shows right here like you have that V cut um, I'm gonna use a um, water soluble marker and mark the point, the center point and just kind of the V lines. And what you can do is you can start here at the V and go one way to the edge and then you can come back to the V and go the other way. That makes it a little bit easier to sew it together. Sometimes I like to just clip, but sometimes I like to put a pin like right in the middle so I know exactly where it's at. You may wonder why I did that backwards. It's because I was waiting on my iron to heat up. When you're steaming, make sure that you set your iron in the correct um, heat setting so you don't burn your fabric. There's been a lot of times at the beginning when I didn't even think about it where I burnt my double brush poly because that's what I'm using today is double brush poly and it can be delicate if, you're, if your iron is way too hot. Now that I have the crease, I can go ahead and sew that raw edge all right like i said i want to start at that point it just makes it easier for me i think to start at that point and then go to the side and like i said this is the reason why i like to leave it straight because if i was gonna have to if i had already cut it and i was gonna sew right beside it it would uh, be harder for me to keep it straight and so now I'm gonna go from that point again and go towards the other side. But obviously, if you wanted to, if it'd be easier for you, you can start here at the corner, go up, and then pivot and go around. But there it is. There's my V point. Once I've got my V point, I'm going to go ahead and go right here where that center line is. And I'm going to trim up to the V point without cutting the, the thread. And then I can trim the allowance here that I now don't really need but I wanted it to be there because it's just easier to sew. Because then when we open it up and we fold it, you have that perfect V for the neckband right there, if you can see that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach it and I'll show you how to do that exactly. All right, so if we're gonna go ahead and attach our neckband, here's my neck area of my bodice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to match up those shoulder seams and go to the back and find my back and then I like to do a little snippet so that way I know exactly where I'm going to attach it even if I don't have a clip 
I'm gonna match my shoulders and go to the front. Now, I know that my front is where the V-neck ends, so I don't really even have to mark that. But I do have to match my front and my back and go to the side so I know exactly where my sides are supposed to go because that just helps me to have an even neckline. Because this is a V-neck, you can see that my side is way far away from that shoulder seam. So we don't wanna use that shoulder seam as our side, as our side guide. We wanna make sure that we measure it out so that way we um, get a perfect band. So once I've got all my quarter points on my neck band, I'm gonna do, I mean on my neck, I'm gonna do the same for my neck band. Remember how we had done that uh, steam so it's nice and got that nice fold line. So it's already there. So all we gotta do is fold it back up. Look at how good that front V looks like. We're gonna grab that front V and fold it and go to the back and that will be our back point here. I'm just gonna put a little clip here to have it because I'm gonna attach it to the bandit, to the neck anyway. Then I'm gonna match the front and the back and I'm gonna go to the sides and those are my quarter points. One quarter point and then match again and go to the other side and that's my other quarter point. And now, you guessed it, we're going to match up those quarter points to my top. Obviously, you want that V point to be at the front, so we're gonna start here in the back. I'm gonna match up those back, and then the sides, and then this point is gonna be here at the front. And it's going to be so, okay, so I also like to go ahead and open up the seam allowance here. Just kind of open it up and steam it so that way it's not bulky. And we're gonna place that right here at this V point. So match up the V point of your neck band with the V point of your bodice here. And I'm gonna put a pin right there because I'm gonna match it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm gonna actually start right here and with my sewing machine, sew about start right here and sew up about an inch over to this way so i'm going to start go down get to that point and pivot and then sew an inch over this way so that way i can the reason why we do that is because with a straight stitch straight stitch on our sewing machine we can have a little bit more control here when we're doing this v-neck so i'm going to do it with my sewing machine and go down to the point turn and go up and then i'll go ahead and sew the rest of it up just to make sure that my v-neck is nice and uh, done correctly so let's do that and then we'll i'm going to show you then what i'll do is i'll start surging from the front and go all the way around and surge it on a loop but i want to make sure that i sew it first all right so here we go with the neckline like i said i'm going to start about an inch away and i'm going to face my neckline up so i can see exactly where i'm going you want to make sure that all your um fabrics your three layers are, are touching <clears throat> I'm going to start about an inch away and go up to that half point once I reach that point I'm going to go down the other way and go about an inch on the other way so then when I take that off you will see that my v-neck right here is nice and completed. You see that? It goes in and up. And there's my v-neck. Easier than you think. We can go ahead and cut, trim here so it's nice and even, but I'm gonna go over to my serger and start here at this point and serge all the way around and come right back out at this point. And that's how we attach our neck band. All right, if you don't have a serger, you can do this obviously with your sewing machine. You would just go all the way around with a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. But I'm using a serger, it just makes things a lot easier. I'm starting at that point right there. I'm grabbing my quarter point here, my first quarter point, and I'm stretching out, making sure that all my sides are touching. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sew. And I'm going to do the same for the next quarter point and then all the way around coming up to the front. As I get here at the front, make sure nothing is cut and you're just going to come right off the edge. There's your V neck. Looks good.
turned out so good now the last thing to do is to give it a good steam to help with any waviness and then if you want to top stitch it you can go ahead and top stitch it but it looks really good when you steam the neckband you want to steam all the seams towards the bodice so you're steaming the seams down towards the bodice there it is so pretty i'm going to try it on and show you what it looks like and check out our other videos to see the finished result of how i finished up this beautiful top all right, friends, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Um, I just love doing v-necks, and I think they turned out super cute. And they actually are not that hard. Let me know below what you think. Where the, is it? Was it as hard as you thought it was going to be? Did some of these tips help you? And are you going to be sewing a, a v-neck here coming up? Now, I do have a tutorial here on this channel that shows you how to create a v-neck when you have a regular neck pattern and you want to actually turn it into a v-neck it shows you how to do that so if you want to go find that video um, and you want to switch hack some um, regular scoop necks into v-necks you can go do that um, i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial please comment like share subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you all next time bye